back. I'm here with Mike and Alan for the panel. All right, guys. Tough first loss against Tulsa this week. What are some of your thoughts and opinions about this game, guys? Well, I mean, I thought we showed a lot of resiliency coming back from being down and then taking the lead in the second half. It was just a shame we couldn't stop the great receivers from Tulsa. Yeah. Absolutely, and all the rushing yards that we got that game and all the production we got from our quarterback, we should be all right, but we just got to get it together on defense. But we also got to focus on not committing penalties. I mean, 13 penalties for over 100 yards, Jimmy. especially some in the key areas of the red zone, getting three points within six. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, but huge game this week. I mean, Miami at home. Definitely, if you guys don't have your tickets, try to get them somehow, but... What do you guys think? Do you think we can pull off the upset? What are some of you guys' previews on this? Hey, I mean, I think we can do it. I mean, being at home, we're going to have a great crowd. It's going to be a sellout. We're going to have all our fans behind us. I think if we play like we did for most of the game last week, I think we'll have a good chance. I think if we feed off the energy, like Alan said, and we get our rushing yards the way we normally do and kind of stifle them a little bit on defense, I think we'll, we'll be all right and we may pull it off. It's going to be tough to beat Miami with Brad Kaya at quarterback entering his second year in this offense. But we'll see. It's going to be a hell of a game. I agree. Anyway, all right. Now let's go to the pro level here, NFL week one. So a lot of exciting games, especially for FAU fans getting to see some of our former players go out there. We got a huge game, Giants versus Cowboys, with Lucky Whitehead making his NFL debut, possibly. What do you guys think about him making it a his debut and possibly about this game. I think he's going to make a huge contribution on the uh, receiving side and also the special team side. Especially with this massive rivalry that's been going on for years, it's going to be an awesome game for him. I agree. I mean, he was so dynamic as a player for us last year, returning kicks and punts. I think he's going to provide that for the Cowboys as well. I think he's definitely someone to look out for, for their kick returner and punt returner. But overall, like you guys said, this is a huge game, big rivalry. I mean, week one, NFC East. I mean, these two teams are fighting for that division. It's really a three-team race in a lot of people's opinion for that NFC. Okay, but um, also, we got the Redskins and Dolphins. Alfred Morris coming home back to Miami, a former FAU student and former FAU um, running back. What do you guys think about him? I think he's been he's shown himself at the pro level. He's been great for a couple years now. I think he's going to have a tough game against the Dolphins. The Dolphins seem to be like they're on the way up in the league, and the Redskins are struggling with their quarterback situation. So I think it's going to be a tough game, but I hope he does well. I agree with Allen. With all the injuries that are plaguing the Redskins right now and the fact that Miami's just beefed up their defense and have their pieces in place now, I think they're really going to make a big statement against the Redskins. Now, do you guys have a week one game that you guys are most excited to see any particular um, very very looking forward to seeing the uh, Baltimore versus Denver game yeah that's <laughs> gonna be a fun game is there a uh, personal person you like on the Denver Broncos well I am a Broncos fan so I'm excited to see that game as a fan it's gonna be but that game both teams are playoff teams so that's gonna be a very good game. What about you, Alan? I agree with you guys, but uh, I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm excited to see the Sam Bradford era with Chip Kelly in the offense on Monday night against the Falcons. <laughs> I'm uh, super excited to see us finally get out there and run the offense like we can and hopefully put up a lot of points. Well, if you go off this preseason, I mean, I remember week three preseason, he was 10 for 10, like yeah. three touchdowns or something ridiculous like that. So. Against the Packers, too, so that's it's promising. I can hope uh, he's, hopefully he stays healthy. <laughs> now, this is probably one of the most debated topics in all of NFL. Deflate date, guys. What are your, I mean, Tom Brady just won his appeal of his four games, so he's eligible to play in the first four games. I mean, what are you guys' opinion on this? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it was not necessarily the right decision, but I mean, I could see how Tom Brady could and the Patriots as an organization have a little sway in the NFL over Goodell. So I understand where it's coming from. Uh, I think obviously it's going to be huge for the football team. Having him for those first, first four games is going to be crucial for them and to get off to a good start. So, I mean, good for yeah. them. And I mean, with everything that happened with all the controversy between him destroying evidence and all these different things that led up to it, I don't think it should have been a definitive decision to say maybe we should let him off the hook, but it is going to be interesting to see how the Patriots can now rebound off 
off of that and also see how fantasy kind of shapes around that because a lot of people doubted Tom Brady with that. Yeah, definitely. And just so people know, Roger Goodell has appealed the appeals process, so we'll see if this continues on or hopefully it'll end soon. Well, for the Blue Wave Sports Show, hope to see you guys next week and catch you later.